to its critics, Rwanda has a deeply flawed political leadership with a lamentable record on human rights. To others, including the British government, this is an intrinsically safe and prosperous country. The truth, as always, is more complex and not well served by simple stereotypes. This coffee shop on the outskirts of the capital, Kigali, was opened four years ago by a husband and wife from Yemen who fled the fighting there as refugees and eventually settled in Rwanda. They've gone on to create a thriving business. When we just landed in Rwanda in the first few days, we decided like we will not leave this country. We've been in Malaysia. Malaysia was not like this clean or organized or safe. When we just arrived here, people, they are so welcoming, they love uh, expat, you know. We saw that this different. This is one of Africa's most dynamic economies. All the more remarkable, given the genocide here less than three decades ago, which left 800,000 dead and millions displaced. Pierre and Yumbia's family fled Rwanda's civil war and eventually ended up in Canada. She's returned to be part of the regeneration, setting up a business that champions local arts and design. The fact so many here were displaced by the genocide has, she says, instilled a genuine compassion in many Rwandans for the plight of refugees. It's definitely welcome because I think for us it's skill sets that are needed. Um, and they're things that will help elevate uh, a lot of the work that we're doing. I know for us as a fashion brand, um, we're always looking to collaborate from, with people from all over the world. Rwanda's critics say its leaders care little for the plight of those displaced in neighbouring Congo, where it's accused of supporting rebel fighters there. Still, Rwanda is currently host to 140,000 refugees. The Eritrean owner of this Kigali supermarket chain arrived here 25 years ago after fleeing the fighting there. He was later joined by his brother who decided to settle here rather than travel to study in the UK. Do you think um, people coming here, refugees sent here from the UK, do you think that they have a chance of making a good life for themselves or will it be very difficult? I don't think they will have any problem really because this is a very, very peaceful country, a very clean, things are in order. Had it, the people been bad people, I wouldn't have uh, lived here for such a long, long years and then we wouldn't have been able to grow uh, to this level where we are today. It would be wrong to suggest Rwanda offers the same level of opportunities and personal freedoms as the UK. But from what I've seen, it's clear there is still plenty of potential for those who end up here to make a good life for themselves and certainly enjoy greater freedoms than the circumstances they say they're fleeing allow. This is a fast developing country. It's not all the way there yet and certainly needs to do more to meet Western standards and human rights. But the country supporters say it's rapidly moving in the right direction. Mark White, GB News in the Rwandan capital, Kigali.